Welcome back to the Dark Reading News Desk here at RSA 2023. Terry Sweeney here with Dark Reading and joining us now is Terence Liu, CEO of TX1, as well as Jeff DePass, head of TX1 Americas. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us on the Dark Reading News Desk today. It's our pleasure. Thanks, Terry. Um, we are talking about industrial cybersecurity and how it's evolving. Um, it, it seems that one of the side effects of the, the executive order is that OT, operational technology, has really entered into the conversations around security. Um, can cybersecurity frameworks that are implemented for IT also work in OT environments? Yeah. You have some um, thoughts there? I think in terms of framework, there are many similarities. So basically, you need to define what is the crown jewels and how to uh, protect them uh, according to the severity, the priority. So the conceptually are, you know, conceptually they are very similar. However, uh, the actual imp implementation and the tactics could be very different considering the uh, limitations and the environment of OT uh, is very different from IT. So for example, uh, keep the critical systems up to date in terms of the, the, the patches, software patches, are very common in IT world. But in OT world, it's just hard to deploy that. Sure. So, uh, um, so uh, actual implementation uh, need to be uh, specially taken care in OT world. Sure. Jeff, anything to add there? Yeah, there's a lot. With the convergence of OT, you keep hearing about the OT-IT convergence or really you know, the other way around. I think the fact that a lot of times the critical skills that are needed to protect the OT environments, you know, there's, there's certainly limitations from what we see in terms of personnel uh, to ask factory workers, plant supervisors to do you know, cybersecurity types of things. It's, you know, those skill sets seem to really not be as prevalent, but we see a, a shift with a lot of our customers putting money and resources toward, towards those as well. Um, industrial cybersecurity solutions are also continuing to merge, um, emerge. Um, what, what are some of the threats that are driving that evolution? Yeah, mm, we see two most important um, threats um, to our current OT environment. Number one is most of the OT environment lacks of even the basic protection. And number two is um, they just don't have enough uh, staff or personnel to take care of the mm. OT security okay. issues. And that's why um, there were some very bad and uh, severe incidents where it's a uh, trivial uh, virus like WannaCry and uh, can make large enterprise uh, have a big loss like 80 million to 300 million dollars. If that kind of virus you know, uh, happen, I mean, uh, jump into their IT, and uh, I think in just one second, will be de detected and eliminated. But just because the OT lacks of the basic protection, and so uh, any, any virus, any worm can cause big, bigger trouble. Right? So I think uh, in the beginning, they need to address the needs of uh, basic protection, like uh, entire malware, like a firewalling, uh, or virtual patching, intrusion pre prevention system, those kind of things. But the, the second stage, you know, uh, we, we also see the ransomware affecting the OT environment. Mm -hmm. But the ransomware is actually coming, a uh, majority of them coming from IT. Because most of the OT don't have the direct access to the internet. So it's like uh, from internet, the ransomware uh, get into the IT and gradually go to OT. So how to uh, having the detection and response capability in OT is crucial to address that. Last but not the least, how, uh, about the, the cyber sabotage, right? Uh, like uh, in the Ukraine Russia war, right? We see uh, some malware like a Viper uh, targeted on the critical infrastructure, mm -hmm. and those OT specific attack also uh, make the solutions which ca can understand uh, both OT application or um, OT network protocols. I mean, uh, uh, in a nutshell, uh, the solution need to understand the. OT operation uh, um, to really effectively block those kind of OT specific attack. Let's wrap up with just maybe looking ahead to the, the future. I'm curious from both of your perspectives, in the next 18 months, um, what do you foresee as the, the great opportunities in securing OT technologies? 
from my perspective, it's just the recognition of, it's, it's kind of the development, the evolution, if you will, of OT and then pr the, the, the infrastructure and some of these big events that have come across that are public uh, with, with organizations losing, having just-in-time inventories and losing big contracts because they're not able to keep up with the demand because their factories are down. And, and just the company's recognition that they need to get more skill sets within these plants, within these factories, within these environments that typically are, are run by folks that are, are, are more apt at you know, running machinery but not protecting it. Well, great perspective on the criticality of protecting both IT and OT networks. Terrence and Jeff, thanks so much for joining us on the Dark Radio News Desk. Thank you, Terry.